You guys all came for an unboxing video, and I'm gonna give you an unboxing video, though I guess I already spoiled what's in the box. So let's waste no time and just jump right into it. So this is what it looks like to open up an Ami Ami box. Fascinating, I know. As you can see, I jumped on the re-release bandwagon and ordered all three Attack on Titan figures at the same time. As for when these figures were released, I will put it on the screen somewhere. But at the time of releasing this video, Ami Ami still had inventory of all three figures. So if you don't have these figures and are interested, you can jump on that and pick them up for yourself. Now before I open up the figures and put them together, I want to show the unboxing of the manga, since I was impatient and opened it up a week prior to getting the figures. So as you can see from this fancy box, I ordered the manga from Amazon. Now I know there's Attack on Titan Colossal Editions and Attack on Titan Onibuses, but I opted for these box sets because I wanted them in regular size manga. So here's what the box sets look like lined up. I'm really impressed with the artwork and I like how the box sets map to the seasons of the anime. My only disappointment is, which you'll see in a second, that it wasn't until season 3 box sets that they thought to put a Lincoln collage on the back of all the box sets. I really wish that they had one single scene across all the boxes. Another callout is, one box had a poster in it, and two boxes had booklets with short stories. And my last callout here is, I secretly bought the exclusive Book 34 separately at Barnes & Noble since I'm a member there. Also the final season box sets are not available yet, part 1 of the final season comes out in December, and I'm not sure when part 2 comes out. Okay, moving back to the figures. So starting with the shortest figure, here's the box of Aaron. To save time, I'm just going to fast track opening him up, and then we're going to talk about what you get with him. This is what you get with Aaron. First thing I want to say is I'm so impressed with the level of detail on this figure, given how low the cost. Even the tree stump is awesome instead of doing a traditional base. But there's a lot of setup for this figure, as outlined in the instructions, so let's put them together and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, I first want to state that I had a little trouble putting him into his base. It just wouldn't wedge in properly, so I had to cut a sliver off the base to get his peg in. But other than that, the rest was super easy and straightforward to put together. This is a great figure and I don't think I need to say much more. So if I was to rate him, I'd give him a pomegranate out of 10. Because even though he was a bit stubborn to get ready, he's actually a pretty sweet figure. Okay, enough with the bad jokes. Moving on to the leading lady Mikasa, this is her box. Let's fast track this opening so I can show you what she comes with. Okay, so very similar to Aaron. Amazing detail. One thing to note is, she has a different base connector than Aaron, which is two metal pegs. But other than that, everything else is the same. So let's get her together and talk about the experience. So let's go over her. Now first off, still had a little bit of trouble getting her pegs to fit into the branch, but there was no need to cut anything like Aaron. Everything else just kind of fell into place. She's a great looking figure. So if I was going to rate her, I'd give her a banana out of 10, because bananas are tasty. Uh, I don't actually know where I was going with that, so uh, let's keep going. And here's the last figure. As you can see, it's Levi, and here's his box. By this time you know the drill, so let's just get him open. At this point, nothing here is surprising us. As you can notice, his base connector is similar to Aaron, though slightly better, and the detail here is super good, so I guess all I have left is just to put them together.
As I expected, Levi looks as great as the first two figures. Putting him together was the easiest for me. Not much more to say than that. If I needed to rate him, I'd rate him a carrot out of 10. Because he's good for the eyes. <laughs> Now I'm sure you're expecting some magical insight on my thoughts on these figures. So here it is. These are the cheapest scale figures I have purchased. I got them for around $100 a piece on Ami Ami. And I don't think you'll find nicer figures for that price. Especially with the unique base, and complicated poses, and the level of detail like these ones. These figures are amazing, and well worth the cost. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I hope you all found this entertaining, and like always, have a great day.